what's go, what's go, man. Let's get into it. What everybody's been waiting for. I mean, honestly, if you keep it real, if you go look at my videos, if you paid attention to anything on my channel, you guys knew who I was picking. You guys see the title. You guys see the thumbnail. The Kansas City Chiefs will win the Super Bowl. No way fans are butts about it. Before I get into this video, I got to give my shout outs to my 49er fans out there. David Mitchu, David Corona, CG, John J, uh, Crazy Juice, Car Quest, or Car Cast, I think his name is. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting a few people, but you know, shout out to you guys. You know, you're my boys. I love your support. I love everything about y'all, man. And you know what? If you guys do win, if you guys do win, I'll tip my hat out hat off and say good job y'all y'all deserve it after not winning the super bowl since what 95 94 ish john j david corona and mitchu cg all them boys you guys deserve it you really do but you guys know especially john j shout out to my boy john j he knows a lot of 49ers fans and even john j can agree that 49ers fans are very delusional been coming at my neck and I'm going to explain why the Kansas City Chiefs will be winning. And by the way, shout out to all my Kansas City Chiefs fans in there. Uh, Yellow Mash, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, the guy with the Pan-African flag, Jordan Francis. Uh, I, random editor, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm forgetting a few, but, you know, shout out to you guys, man. But let's talk about it, man. They got the best quarterback on the team. They got the best quarterback between the two. Hands down, Patrick Mahomes. No events about it. And I think I said this in one of my other videos. I'm going to say here right now. I give Patrick Mahomes credit for this year. He's been game managing. Like, I feel like Patrick Mahomes realized that his receivers are horrible, that Kelsey's taken a step back. If not, he's washed. His running backs are good. His offensive line isn't the best. So he's been game managing. Because, I mean, besides maybe the Buffalo game, and even the Buffalo game wasn't a big blowout, wasn't a big uh, score lead. He hasn't been really scoring points. Even that Dolphin games, I think they would score like 26 points. So I so I give Mahomes credit for to stop trying to be a superstar and just game managing the game, taking the check downs and audible audibling to runs and letting uh Pacheco and all them boys run and throwing screens and stuff like that. If it's not broken, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? If it's not broken, don't fix it. I give Mahomes credit. You know, he sacrificed. I I think he threw for over 4,000 yards, but he, he only threw 26 touchdowns, which is not a Mahomes year. But he sacrificed touchdowns. He sacrificed yards. He maybe even sacrificed an MVP, even though Lamar is the MVP hands down, to uh, go to the Super Bowl again. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to see how he does against this 49 defense. This 49 defense is Bosa, Warner, Young, Armstead, Baby Palmalu in the secondary. We're going to see how you do, Mahomes. We're going to see how you do. Like, this defense from 2019 or 2020, I should say, is not the same this year. But let's also talk about Andy Reid. Andy Reid is playing for the GOAT status, especially with Bill Belichick, you know, taking shots uh, this year. No one's hiring him. He got – he based – Belichick got fired from the Patriots. No evidence about it. He got fired from the Patriots. Whether you like it or not, Patriots fans, I don't care what you say, Belichick got fired. They just said he resigned or he stepped down or him and Kraft had decided part ways. He got fired. Justifiably so, but he got fired. Andy Reid's playing for that GOAT status. He's, I mean, the one thing I can say about Andy Reid is that he's been to a Super Bowl as a head coach uh, without Patrick Mahomes, uh, unlike Bill Belichick with Tom Brady. So he has that in his hat. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I, I don't think the rumors are true. I mean, you never know, but I don't think the rumors are true. But if the rumors are true that he wants to retire, why not lay it all out this Super Bowl? Why not lay it out all this Super Bowl? And even if he doesn't retire, this is a Super Bowl you can't waste. You wasted one with McNabb. You wasted one last uh, a few years ago with Brady. You wasted another one uh, when you lost to the Bengals a couple years ago. You can't waste these Super Bowls. You have, I think Andy Reid has two. He needs four more to catch up to Belichick. Uh, uh, he needs four more to catch up Belichick, and he needs uh, five more to pass him. Honestly, he needs to get around that four or five range-ish to, you know, be considered the GOAT coaching of all time. So Andy Reid's definitely going to be playing like that. Also, I want to give Andy Reid and his coaching staff a lot of credit. This Chiefs defense is beyond amazing. Beyond amazing. Besides the Ravens and uh, 
yeah, besides maybe the Ravens, I think the Chiefs have one of the best defenses in the league. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The what they did to Buffalo, and I'm not gonna give them credit for Miami because you, you we all knew Miami was gonna lose. You're putting a Florida team in Kansas City with like negative 14 degrees. Obviously, Miami wasn't gonna play good, whether or not. But what they did to Buffalo in the second half, and what they did to the Ravens, even though some of that was on the Ravens. That Chiefs defense also held the Ravens, stopped the Ravens on multiple occasions. So I give Andy Reid and I give the defensive coordinator, Spagnola, credit. You know what I'm saying? If I'm Sp- and by the way, I want to say this too before I move on to the San Francisco 49ers. If I'm Spagnola, I'm Spagnola is not a good head coach. We all know this. He's not a good head coach. But if I'm Spagnola, I will honestly ask the Kansas City Chiefs to give me a raise as a defense coordinator. If not, I'll go to a different team and ask for the same amount, if not more. Uh, to be the defensive coordinator. Like, to be a coordinator, whether it's offensive or defensive, it's okay. Just ask for a raise. If I'm Kansas City, I'm giving him a raise too. No ifs, ands, about, no ifs, ands, buts about it. But let's move on to the San Francisco 49ers. Brock Prady, the average guy himself. Y'all know where I'm going with this. Y'all know where I'm going with this. He's Jimmy G. He's a white Jimmy G. And maybe, and I did say on my last podcast, I'll take Jimmy G over him. Now reconsidering it, I might take Brock Purdy slightly, slightly over Jimmy G on the simple fact that he can run and Jimmy G can't. And anytime Jimmy G runs, he's either running to the next uh, supermodel that he wants to have, uh, that he wants to date or he's getting injured. But Brock Purdy, as Cam Newton would say, Brock Purdy ain't going to do nothing. He's a game manager, which I'm not knocking. But this is the Super Bowl, and this is a Super Bowl-winning defense he's going up against. He's not going to be able to throw these screens and have all this time in the pocket and run like he did against the Lions and the Packers, who, let's be for real, the Lions and the Packers are neophytes. The Packers are a year away of free agency, maybe even two free agencies away from contending with Jordan Love, if Jordan Love is the guy. And Detroit, I mean, like I said in my preview, go look at my preview video on the San Francisco 49ers and the Lions at the AFC Championship and the NFC Championship game. It's the Lions. Like, it doesn't shock me that they choked. They've never been there. They haven't been there since, what, 1991? Like, the computer wasn't even invented last time there was an the NFC Championship game. Barry Sanders still had a hairline. Like, come on, man. We all knew what the 49ers were going to – I mean, not the 49ers, what the Lions were going to do. But also – He's going to get exposed by a real defense in Kansas City and a real defensive coordinator in Spag. No, you don't think Spag is watching film on Brock Purdy? You don't think that? You don't think that? And also, for every 49ers fan. Now, 49ers fans give me a lot of grief. They give me a lot of grief about my Brock Purdy slander. You guys are going to see the light eventually, just like you guys saw the light with Jimmy. You saw the light with Kaepernick. You saw the light with Alex Smith. You saw the – Trey Lance wasn't given a fair shot, so I'll leave Trey Lance out of it. But we can all agree, 49ers fans, you cannot trust Kyle Shanahan. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, 49ers fans. Every 49ers fan, whether you know me or not, shout out to all my boys I gave a shout out to earlier in this video. But any new 49ers fans or whatever, young ding idiot, you – we can all agree Kyle Shanahan somehow, someway messes it up. Let's be for real. You guys should even be here. You guys had to come back against the Packers and the Lions, who top to bottom have a better roster than you. You're Kyle Shanahan. People will say Kyle Shanahan is better than Dan Campbell and um, Matt LaFleur, and yet he had to come back and do it. You think you're going to be able to do that against Kansas City and that defense and Andy Reid? And then also, let's look at it from this perspective. Say, like, you guys go up 10 points. Doesn't that give you deja vu of another Super Bowl? You guys were up 10 points? Or you guys were up a conference championship against the Rams? It comes down to coaching. And when I look at Andy Reid, who has his problems with game management too, but he's way better than Kyle Shanahan. I do not trust Kyle Shanahan. And Kyle Shanahan, this is your chance to prove me wrong. But until then, Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs Kingdom is going to win this Super Bowl. That's my thoughts. What are yours? Tune into the Unfiltered Sports Podcast on Sunday, where me and my co-host will be covering the Super Bowl live. RJL.